is common in these four flowers dahlia elysium dianthus and tyrannium or the dragon flower what is common they all flower in winters these four are winter flowering plants and what do they do, do during the rest of the year that is the question that comes to our mind if they are flowering in winter what are they doing during the rest of the year children let's go back to the chapter of morphology remember we said that a plant has the vegetative organs and the reproductive organs there is vegetative growth and flowering and fruits are actually the reproductive phase of the plant body yes so during rest of the time that is during spring summer they are undergoing vegetative growth they are letting the vegetative parts of the plant grow from the germination till the flowering is the vegetative phase and why do they flower only in winter what is the reason that they like to flower only in the winter to answer that let's remind ourselves let's close our eyes okay or you want to look at the picture what a beautiful depiction of winter and summer what is the main first reaction we have when we think about summer and winter woo the temperature the temperature change summer has high temperature and winter has the low temperature that means that these flowers are sensitive to or the phenomenon of flowering in these plants is sensitive to temperature and what kind of temperature my children what kind of temperature very good low temperature okay and that is vernalization all right so ma'am what is this term it is nothing i'm going to give you one word low temperature it is sort of a required treatment for the plant it likes winters okay now vernalization is actually good for the plant why vernalization or this phenomena due to which the flowering depends either quantitatively or qualitatively on exposure of low temperature that phenomena is actually good for the plant what you see here is the quality of the flowers will be good and the quantity will be good if the plant gets good winter the plant is dependent on the season and if the quality and quantity of flowers is good what happens the fruit is good the yield is more so you see how it is affecting everything and what is one word that i gave you for vernalization affecting the quantity and quality of flower it is the low temperature we good here this waiting or this treatment of low temperature make sure that the vegetative growth is proper and enough the plant gets all that time till winters to actually develop all the parts it has a very healthy and robust vegetative body yes it does not allow immature reproductive development or you can say precocious development precocious is immature development of the reproductive part because then the quality of the reproductive parts will not be good and even quantity also 